right, in this video, I'm going to show you a web screen that I've created in Auto Tools. It's a web screen called 321 Charts, and basically we can display three charts, two charts, or one chart. These are line charts, and here is a sample of it when you first load it up from the server. Now, I really did enjoy making this. I've learned a lot about CSS, HTML, and JavaScript with the help of the documentation that was provided with the Auto Tools web screen. For me, I'm still a beginner at all this, but uh, yeah, I, I hope you find this useful. So we have three charts here. These charts are interactive. So once you get your own data up here, you can actually come in here and click and get specific values, whether it be temperatures, uh, battery percentages, rain percentages, whatever arrays you have in Tasker, you can use these arrays to display that data graphically. Not only that, let's rotate the device. And when we rotate the device, we get bigger graphs and we'll get all three of them. Now I did mention that you can have one, two, or three graphs. So some quick things that we can modify inside of here. We got graph one, graph two, graph three. The properties inside of all three of these are going to be the same. The gap between the charts, you can actually separate these charts even more. The number of charts that we want, let's just go ahead and set this to two. It's three by default. So now we see just these two charts. We see the white background here on this display. We can actually modify that as well. And this will still show just fine when you rotate your device screen. So back inside of the configuration, you can change the font and that will apply to all of your charts, whether you're showing one, two, or three. I'm just gonna leave it at Arial for right now. The gap between your charts, you can adjust that gap. If you wanna put a bigger gap in between them. For the colors, let's set the background color to a slightly transparent color. Let's check that out. So notice our background is transparent, so slightly transparent gray. You can make it completely transparent as well. And one more time to show you this, when we rotate the device screen, that gap is bigger than what it was before because we adjusted the gap between our two charts. We still have that transparent background as well. As you can see in the background right there, we can see the task edit and the auto tools web screen. So I'm gonna back out of here and I'm going to show you a sample that I've made. It's still the same three, two, one charts. Let's play this one. I'm showing three charts here and I'm using arrays that I've created inside of Tasker. I can monitor my battery percentage over a certain amount of time. Now this tutorial is not gonna show you how to create this, but basically I'm just trying to show you how you can get arrays from Tasker and I'm gonna show you how to use those correctly. This right here is just a single line. Down here we see two lines and this is a single line as well. I'm actually using Weather Underground for these two pieces here. And you may notice the X axis is kind of getting cut off and down here we don't even see one. Well, let's rotate the device screen and see what happens. We see more of the X axis down here. We see more of the dates there. And now we do see our dates down here as well. I got some gaps set up and this is completely customizable in terms of the fonts. What do you want to display? What colors do you want? Do you want the lines to have a curve shape to it? Do you want the lines to be straight? These lines are actually straight lines, just like this one down here. These down here are straight as well. And this is just giving me the percentage chance of precipitation in my area over the next 10 days. And let me show you some things that I have edited inside of this sample here. So if I go to graph one, that was the one that was showing the battery percentage. So you can adjust the graph title, and a lot of these are kind of self-explanatory, but if you want to hide a title or if you want to hide something like title position, let me go set this to none. And if I back out of here, now I was editing graph one. So if I come back here and play this now, when we set the title position to none, notice it does not show that title anymore. We can do that to all three graphs separately. Let's go back into graph one. And what I want to show you here is the following. The x-axis labels array. This is an array that I've created in Tasker and I've called it percent current time with some parentheses. Make sure you use your parentheses so that you can access that array and then show it on the x-axis here. Now you can put some static values in here as well. And then we have two arrays for our y's, y max and y min. If I go to my Y max array, I'm actually using another array that I've created in Tasker. This is actually getting the battery percentage and then this corresponds with the X axis at a particular time. 
But if I go to my Y min array, leave this blank if you want only one line. So I only have one line on that battery graph. That's why that array is blank. You can title your X and Y axis. You can position your axis titles. You can change the axis colors. How many grid lines do you want for this battery percentage? I'm using 11 grid lines, and that's because I want to see 0% technically all the way up to 100. And if you actually include 0, and if I go by 10s, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, that's going to be 11 grid lines. Something else that's important too, not the thickness of lines, but you can adjust the thickness of the actual graph that you see. The maximum Y, I have it set to 100. Let me take that away, and notice it pops up, leave blank to auto adjust. So I'm going to come down here to minimum Y and I'm going to delete that one as well. When you set these values, it will always keep it at zero or hundred. But if I leave both of these blank, let me back out of here. Let's check it and let's play it again. Now all this was graph one. Notice what's happened now to my battery graph. It's now a minimum of 45 and a maximum of 65. It will kind of auto fit your graph if you leave that Y max and that Y min blank. But again, if I went back in there and changed it from zero to 100, and that's what I kind of like to see for my battery percentage. So let's go back into graph one again. And instead of having that maximum Y as auto, I'm gonna type in 100. And the minimum Y, I want to leave it at zero. Now you could leave one at auto and the other one at a set value as well. Backing out of here. And now let's go to graph number two. Graph number two is where I have two lines on my chart. And as a matter of fact, those lines are curved. So if you want a curved graph, you select function instead of line. You can adjust the max line color and the min line color. It'll allow you to pick a color, but I'm just gonna back out of here. But what I want you to notice for this one is that for the Y max array, I have some array showing there. That's gonna be my highs over the next 10 days. And then I also have a Y min array. Notice if I take this away, and I press OK, what I'm getting ready to lose here is that second line, the minimum temps on this second graph. Check it out. Now all I see is the maximum temperatures over the next 10 days. So since I want to have two lines here, I'm going to set a Y max array and a Y min array. I hope that makes sense. You may also notice that the scale changed. I have this set to auto. I don't have a specific minimum or a specific maximum since the temperatures can fluctuate so much. And um, yeah, that's some of the basic overviews here of this Auto Tools web screen, three, two, one line charts. And to kind of bring it all together, what I'm gonna do down here is I'm just going to take the number of charts. I'm gonna set it equal to one to show you what happens to finish this thing off. I'm gonna change the font to, let's go with Arial. And what's going to happen here, when I set the number of charts to one, it's going to show only graph one. So let me go back to my graph title. We have that called battery. I did position it to none, which means it hides it. If I set it back to outside, we can adjust the size a little bit. Not too much because it will hide it if you go too big. Let me adjust the color. I'll come in here and adjust a number of grid lines now on this thing. Instead of 11, I'm gonna do five because now what this will do automatically since I have it set from zero, let me double check and make sure I do have uh, the zero or 100 for my maximum Y and zero for my minimum Y. By me setting five grid lines, it's gonna do zero, 25, 50, 75, 100. Let's check this out with all these modifications I've made. We should only see one chart and it should be centered in the screen. Now you may notice that the title is not there. The reason why the title is not there, I made that size too big. So 30 is too large. Let's just bump it down a little bit. So going back to graph one, title size, let's try 25. And now we get the title back and we did change that color to red. And there you have it, three, two, one charts. Uh, put your own arrays in here. You could use some static values. You could just manually type in a comma separated list. That would be boring because it would not change dynamically. Use your own arrays that you've created in Tasker and display up to three line charts at any given time. And that's it for this video. I hope it helps.